Some, some say Jill Burnett was, was the real number one wild camper in the world. And that Dave's wild camping is the real number two. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Don't you believe it? We'll see you there. Moody night. We're in the main courtyard of uh, the commandant's residence and last time we were anywhere like this was Mile Castle, was it 39? It's uh, Hadrian's Wall wasn't it? Near the sycamore tree, we were the first ones to welcome that way. I took my vid down because there was uh, haters, the usual thing. The thing that like targeted me, the haters. <laughs> so. We've come to Hard Dot Roman Fort. And uh, we're looking after the storm. <laughs> So we're just going to sit down here for an hour and have some banter, like we like to do. So it's just good to be getting back out again, for sure. They must be getting an inversion over that way, like I would have thought. I know. Well, he, it was all, that was just only a, a few minutes ago, that was just all misted up. <laughs> Beautiful view, isn't it? Hopefully it won't, it won't rain. And the sun will come out. So that's early in the morning, about quarter nine. Nobody here, just having a walk around the fort. Before we do some breakfast. We've got to always tell the dad not fort. Roman fort, so there's our pitch. Nice and out the way. There's the number two. And after getting soaked yesterday, it's a nice day today. The uh, commandant's courtyard. So I'm just going to walk into it. This would have been the entrance. This is the courtyard with the buildings going all the way around. So this was his home. That's what it would have looked like. So I've just walked through that entrance. I'm in the courtyard now. Roman courtyard. And you know, pick a nice location. 
the Romans, I'm stood in the courtyard. I bet some serious stuff would have gone in in here. Some punishment dished out, I would have thought, sentencing and what have you. So that would have been a great big tower. Access from the side, by the looks of it. I'm so glad the sun's come out, aren't you? Oh, Just makes your distance, doesn't it? Well, he, he, but lucky, like. I'd have been in a rush to come back, see. Uh, And he's just getting his whisper light stove going, so it's he's got it stood on something off the grass. So yeah, taking care of the environment. Right, my new pan set up. So there you go, that fits into my pan set that. So that's the new I can fry an egg in it. Oh, well I haven't fried one yet, but I'm gonna try it. There you go, one egg, new egg holders. There's my new stand from a pocket rocket which I've had for years. But it was always a bit wobbly. So that's that, and the reason why I've, I've, I'm mucking around with this setup is because of me uh, Hilliberg solo. That's the tent I'm going to be going out in in the storms this winter. So if it's got a name on the storm, that's where I'll be out in the solo. But the problem with the solo is the vestibule's a bit small, so I don't want to be using that type of stove. Yeah, a liquid fuel stove because I burnt a hole in it in the hole of Arkham. But when I've looked back of, at um, the footage of other camps, when I, I've almost been burning a hole in every time. So I think this will be the stove I'm going to try this winter in there. So, yeah, like I said, we, we go out full stop for season camping. Not, we're not just fair weather campers. So if it's got a name on the storm or it's raining or whatever, we you still know. go out. Boom! Straight away, no, no bother, no bother. That's what I'm having for breakfast. That's, that's uh, course number one. It's issue number one I've spotted straight away. The windshield's not high enough, it's not tall enough, so I think I've got a taller one at home. I'll have to try and dig it out maybe. I'll keep my eye up for something, but that's not high enough. So that's... Yeah, too sharp that windshield. Tell them whose breakfast it is, but yeah. they'll think it's yours. It's cheating. Mm. We've, we've both done it in the wrong order. He wanted to make a brew first, yeah. I wanted to do my breakfast first. So it's things for the first time. Yeah. Yep. One egg. One egg. Two eggs, really? No, it's not. <laughs> One egg holder. One egg. Remember you heard that first from the real number one. How mint is that? There's my pan after my egg. 
no, uh, nothing stuck at all. Check that out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Success. <laughs> Dave's one egg. My one egg. That's my second egg on the go. The first one was a total success. There's me tea and my new cosy, and that's working well as well. Right, that's egg number two. One egg, but you cutting it. <laughs> uh, it's egg number two. Perfect again. So I've just done that. There's my pan. It's just perfect. This is how advanced and cutting edge I'm getting now with my wild camping. That's my rubbish bag. That's his rubbish bag. It weighs almost as much as my backpack. Don't that. you forget it. In Don't fact, forget it. In fact, I'd say that weighs more than my Hilleberg Nello too. You better believe it. It weighs an absolute ton. See you there. See you there. That's why you'll always be the number two, and I'll be the number <laughs> one. Nobody believe that man. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, I'll be out again in six days' time again. So, uh, got a lot of catching up to do. Two months off wild camp was too long, so I'd rather live this life doing this. So. I'll be back out next week. Bye.